Hey, welcome to Hardy Brothers Outdoors. Josh Hardy here. Today I'm going to open my Greenworks Pro 80 volt, 21 inch uh, mower that's a self propelled uh, bags, mulches, side discharge. Uh, has two batteries with it with a four year guarantee on it. If you're a Costco customer, you can get it with an eight year guarantee. And uh, today it's raining out. The, the weather's not that nice yet, but I'm too excited to, to not unbox this. So I'm gonna go ahead and do an unboxing today. Talk a little bit about the features and functionality of this mower and uh, give you my first impressions on it. With some hope, the uh, battery will have a little bit of charge on it. We can uh, you know, start it up, take a quick look at it. Stick around. Okay, so got everything uh, unpacked. It's pretty straightforward. We've got two of the uh, four amp hour 80 volt batteries, lithium. Both of them are have zero charge, so we're gonna need to charge them before we try them out. We have the uh, dual port charger, which I believe is a rapid charger. Should only take about 40 minutes to do the charge. The side discharge, the bag, and the instructions. And there were a couple little hanging tags to tell you how to how to put it together. Pretty simple uh, in terms of how to put it together. One, you've got to get this wrapper. Doesn't have to be done right away, but that wrapper will come off. It's protecting these uh, rails. And then uh, it says to put it upright. And then uh, you remove a rubber piece here. Get rid of that. That's just packaging. We're going to slide those in and uh, that should be about it until we're ready to install the battery. So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna charge the batteries, I'm gonna give this thing, we're gonna fire it up and try it out. So that was nice and easy. I like the way this thing folds up and goes up against the wall. So that's gonna be a real nice thing. And then I think, I'll put it back down, I'll lower it down. We pull in on these two sides here. And now you're ready to go. So it's a pretty serious battery charger. I just had the uh, camera a little bit closer to it. Now I have a mic uh, up closer to my face. So we'll see what the sound difference is. But that thing's uh, pretty powerful. And it's you know got two huge batteries. It's going to charge in 40 minutes. So see how it's uh, operating there. So on the first charge of the batteries, which were completely dead when, when received, I'm at exactly 46 minutes. And the one on the right just stopped, or on the left just stopped blinking. So looks like uh, charge time about 45 minutes for two completely dead batteries. Okay, so uh, batteries are charged. It's rainy and still nasty out here, but I thought I'd go ahead and go on with the uh, first impressions. So batteries were charged very quickly. Uh, this just lifts up here nice and easy here. There's actually a red key in here. Let's see here. The red key in here that allows you to um, basically a safety switch it looks like so we have those in there so let's look at how this thing starts up uh, there are green handles here they need to be pressed back you can see my battery charge showed up there and down there if I hold down the start button it'll start
Well, so it works really well. Uh, pretty excited to use it this, this uh, summer. So the final thing I want to talk about was why I finally decided to go with an electric mower. Uh, I'm not some big, uh, you know, green focused person. I drive a, a Nissan Armada. See, I care about the, the environment, but that's not what led me to buy this. I knew at some point we'd potentially try out electric. My neighbor had an electric mower and he was very impressed with it. So I asked him some questions about his mower and uh, he liked it. It was quiet. I kind of noticed that, you know, it, it did everything he needed to do it. But more importantly, I take care of the yard here and at the cabin. And I actually do most of the mowing at the cabin where we have five plus acres that gets mowed. So here, my wife or my daughter does most of the mowing. Well, neither one of them like dealing with gasoline. Uh, so I'm usually adding gas, you know, after it's already been run completely empty uh, or gas is getting spilled. I don't like, you know, dealing with uh, oil changes myself, um, which I do, but, but I just don't like doing them very often. And so those two reasons alone and not dealing with the spark plug and the startup issues helped me kind of just decide to go with this. The biggest reason is my daughter's mowing grass to raise money for a school trip. And I wanted her to be able to go out and mow without dealing with that. So I went with the 80 volt because I needed it to be able to mow, uh, you know, little quarter acre lots and try to get, you know, maybe two or three out of a charge. The fast charging, you know, was appealing to me as well. 40 minutes to 45 minutes to, to charge for 90 minutes of use. Thought that was great. But check this out too. This is one of the coolest things here. You know, I have a, like a Toro gas mower right now and it's a pain in the butt to raise and lower. This thing has one handle and that raises and lowers it. I mean, it couldn't get any easier than that. The storage function on this thing was pretty cool as well. I showed that at the beginning of how it uh, folds over and then stores. Now, we don't have a huge issue with space, but pretty cool feature as well. I, I think it's a pretty slick mower and uh, I can't wait to use it more. So pretty impressed with this thing and I uh, encourage you to check it out. I also went and bought a blower trimmer combo that I'll be doing another review on. So check that out as well. But so far, first impressions, very positive on this mower. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time.